The nation continues to experience a shortage of PPE. Joining us now with a COVID-19 update is family physician and CEO of Kind Health Group, Dr. Georgie Nanos. Dr. Nanos, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Lauren. How are you? I'm well, thank you. The better question is, how are you? I, under, I saw your picture <laughs> I am getting vaccinated yesterday. How do you feel? I feel fantastic. I am very happy. Yes, I feel great. My arm's a little sore, but that's what I expected. Um, otherwise, I feel great. And, you know, I, you can understand your excitement and everything because we're talking a lot this morning about even though the state agreeing with the guidelines to open up vaccinations to those 65 and older, the county just doesn't have a, a large amount of vaccinations uh, available in order to open up that window. What are your thoughts? What are you telling your patients? Because I'm sure you've got phone calls about, hey, when can I make an appointment for mine? Exactly, yes. So what's happening is that the county doesn't have the resources and the, the staff to deliver on all of these vaccines. So uh, the, the vaccines are available, but it's the it's the manpower and the logistics to get these out, especially to the smaller private practices like mine and, and other colleagues of mine um, who can uh, distribute them to the greater uh, community. And the other thing too, is getting them out to the pharmacies. That's going to be a big game changer because that's where a lot of vaccinations take place. And, you know, there's so many pharma large national pharmacy change chains that can also immunize, but it's just a matter of the logistics of getting it out there. And it's been extremely challenging. Yeah, well, I mean, we're all hoping that this uh, that this can get speed up, speed it up. We can get more vaccine in the county. And then when you talk about uh, issues of shortages, we're also seeing. I was noticing some video. Uh, you could see people giving vaccinations without gloves, and there was a lot of controversy, you know, questions about that. And it's simply because we're seeing this shortage of PPE, um, specifically the N95 masks as well. So, what are we doing to hopefully? get more PPE as we're continuing to uh, see this pandemic go on? Uh, that's a very great question. The, the shortages have never abated really. And, um, you know, the glove shortage in particular has has really hit the, the healthcare community very hard in the last several months. You know, a, a simple box of gloves used to cost about three or four dollars. Now it's about 50. Um, so it, it's just been extraordinary. Um, it's and we've had to ration the use of PPE in my practice. And I know in, in all of the hospital and other outpatient primary care settings, that's been the case. Um, so, and you know, that goes, this, that's the same for N95 masks as well. We only wear our N95 masks if we know that, um, you know, there's a high risk of COVID exposure, which is unfortunate because we know there's so many asymptomatic cases out there. So it's just been, it's been really challenging. So why is it that we see N95 masks available on Amazon and coming up in your feed for, for sale and, and really not very many stories talking about a shortage for uh, PPE anymore? We're just not hearing about it. Is, is there a reason for that? I think it's just been pushed down the news feed because everyone's talking about the vaccine now and the rising cases, but it's never not been part of the, the uh it's never not been part of, of what's front and center for us. So uh, I, I guess, are we just encouraging the public if, if they don't need N95 masks, if they're simply going to lower risk places like they should be, they don't need to, to buy N95? Unfortunately, yes, at this time, that's, that's still the recommendation just because um, the supply chain has really been um, has been lacking for for the healthcare professionals and um, you know especially the hospital settings and typically you know what used to happen pre-COVID is you'd use a new N95 mask for every single patient you saw that has long since uh, been this uh, gone that is long gone as the standard and now um, you know providers are expected to use the same N95 mask all day long so um, yeah it's 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 unfortunate it's still a very much a problem. Well, hopefully everybody is uh, listening and um, we can get more vaccine and hopefully talk about uh, how we're well on our way to uh, this being in the rearview mirror. Dr. I think Nana. we are. I would like to. <laughs> and I want to remind everybody to continue to wear your masks and wash your hands. 
keep a physical distance. And when you have the opportunity to get vaccinated, please, please do. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Nanos. Appreciate your time.